a new year is upon us and you have all of these money goals that you want to smash you want to check them up but how do you smash your money goals that you have set for yourself in the coming year In order for you to start working towards attaining your money goals, you need to start with rebuilding your relationship with money. Now the first step for you to do that would be to understand your money mindset. Mindset is really everything. You need to understand how do you think about money. When you think about money, what comes to your mind? I did a video where I asked people money related questions like what does money mean to you so you need to sit down and ask yourself what does money actually mean to you how do you see money like what is your money mindset do you think of money from the abundance mindset or the scarcity mindset all of these questions you would need to answer them to help you understand your money mindset once you understand your money mindset it will help you see if money is a tool for you where you are using it as a means to achieve your end or if money is what actually makes you happy or gets you to that satisfaction it could also be both in order to understand your money mindset you also need to ask yourself what is your first experience with money what was the first knowledge or lesson or experience you actually had with money? A lot of us, we find that our relationship with money actually started from our childhood, our upbringing. The way you see money now or the way you perceive money now could be as a result of your upbringing, how you were taught, what your parents told you about money. And the way you were taught about money from your upbringing or from your childhood would really shape your perception about how you perceive money as an adult. So this is also something that you might want to work on. If you feel like your money mindset is in a specific kind of way scarcity mindset and you don't think about money from a place of abundance you don't see money as a tool but you're seeing money as happiness in itself you're not making good use of your money or whenever you have money all the odds that you have is to just spend and spend and spend it could be from your upbringing trust me it is not your fault you can still work on improving your relationship with money you can still learn how to actually use money the right way you can give yourself financial education and make the right use of your money once you understand your money mindset you also need to identify what really matters to you do you need money for travel do you need money to fund a certain lifestyle do you need money to buy back your time your freedom what exactly matters most to you so for me one of the things i use money for is i saved up to help me quit my 95 job because i didn't want that in my life anymore and i used money as a way to buy back my time to help me work on things that are most important to me and that is what i used money for so you also need to understand what is more important to you start by setting your money goals and make sure your money goals are smart you're sinking fund towards buying a car start to do that make sure you have all of the characteristics of a smart goal checked off next is for you to visualize it trust me if you say that you want to save ten thousand dollars by the end of the year and you don't have it written down somewhere you don't have it visualized somewhere you could forget somewhere along the line in the year somewhere down the road you forget ah oh, i wanted to save this much because you didn't write it down but when you write it down somewhere it's a constant reminder there's this psychology behind actually writing things down it helps you envision it it helps you remember it helps you start to actually plan to achieve it so don't just have money goals make sure it's written down spelled out clearly on the kind of goals that you actually want to attain if you're someone that uses a vision board make sure you have your money goals on your vision board so for me in 2023 i wanted to make sure to get a new car and i had it in my vision board okay yes this is something i wanted i also had it somewhere written that i wanted to quit my nine to five so having all of these things written down somewhere would help you actually attain them so in your vision board make sure you have like pictures of exactly what you want you want a new house you want a new car do you want a new apartment do you want to clear off your debt all of these things that you want for yourself make sure you write them down and envision it once you visualize it trust me your mindset will be turned towards making sure to attain that goal next it's not about what you make it's about what you keep i'll say it again it's not about what you make it's about what you keep you work hard all year long you make a lot of money you earn a decent amount of money monthly but you don't have anything to show for it it's not your fault it's just the kind of relationship that you have with money that is not helping you understand how to make good use of your money this is why you also have to understand where your money goes 
is it impulsive shopping decisions this actually happened to every one of us or most of us i should say you're scrolling on social media then you see a video of a girl pop up with a new bag or a new sunglasses or something that you find really attractive and you're like oh i would like that she says i got it on amazon then you get an amazon app you found one you add to cart then amazon will recommend new item or suggested items for you you see them i would like to have this as well you add to cart you add to cart you add to cart it could be any other website before you know it you have 10 items in your cart and the next thing you're doing is checking out you actually got on that app or on that website for just one specific thing but you end up checking out 10 items what i always recommend to do in this situation because it happens to me as well would be to wait 24 hours so for me most times when i'm scrolling on social media it's late in the night maybe before bedtime and i start to see all these things like oh i'm interested in this and i don't buy it that night i make sure to wait 24 hours at least and i do it during the daytime because some impulsive decisions you make them at the wrong, late in the night or maybe when you're just tired and hungry then you make those reckless decisions not to say that you are reckless it's just the decision that you're making that is not just the right one so one tip for you would be to wait 24 hours then ask yourself do i still need this is this a want is this a need sometimes you find that it is not a need it is not a want it's just impulsive shopping just because you saw it just made you feel like ah i think i want that too you don't really want it because what you want is something that you know that makes you happy or makes you feel good about yourself but then this one is just because somebody recommended it or someone talked about it that's why you're adding to cart so i'll tell you wait 24 hours then decide and if you are someone that you are doing that late in the night or you find a pattern that you're always shopping or overspending at night then do it during the day wait till the next morning wait at least 24 hours before actually purchasing the item then before you purchase ask yourself do i still want this how will i feel when i get this once you ask yourself those questions and you answer it, it will help you truly, truly decide on if you want to continue with that purchase. A lot of times you find that by the time you are actually checking 24 hours later, of all the 10 items that you have added to cart, you probably needed just one. Then now you can delete all the other 9 items and purchase that one thing that you really need. Consumerism is at its peak. You have to make sure that you are fighting it and you are trying as much as you can to control your impulsive shopping habits. That way you are ensuring that there is a balance between what you make and what you actually keep. And lastly, talk about it. I am all for financial transparency. Talk to someone about it. Talk to your partner. Have money conversation. Feel comfortable to talk about money. Don't let money be that restrictive topic that you just can't talk about when it comes to money matters i find that a lot of people they just don't want to talk about it they just rather avoid it and this is actually affecting most of us because you find that at workplace somebody is earning more than somebody that is also doing the same job as you or sometimes even doing more than you and you're like why is this person making more money because people are not feeling comfortable talking about money and financial transparency is very very important so my advice for you would be to get comfortable talking about money find a community of people that have similar value or shared value when it comes to talking about money i'll share with you this quote if you want to go fast go alone but if you want to go far go together so having a community of people that you are accountable to where you feel comfortable talking about money is really really important you are 95 percent more likely to reach your money goals if you have an accountability partner and if you don't have one i'm here to help in 2024 i'll be starting a smart money accountability group where i'll be heavily involved in your growth i would also mentor you to help you attain your money goals we would all work together to cut costs save money and learn ways to make our money work for us sometimes you find that you even have money but your money is not growing it's because you are not making good use of it you are not making your money actually work for you so these are some of the things that you would actually learn we would have challenge from time to time to help us target and work towards our goals if you'd like to join the smart money accountability group follow the link in the description box to learn more about it and how to join there are only a certain number of people i can accommodate or people that i can work with so there are limited spots available so do it right now do not procrastinate this new year we must all win nobody's leaving anybody behind so get on your grind and join now and if you are not ready to be held accountable or to be in a mentorship group that's totally okay you can do that on your own try as much as you can to stay consistent with your goals again having those goals set is not enough you have to create actionable plans to help you attain them i hope you have learned something new to help you improve and rebuild your relationship with money if you have any other tips please feel free to leave them in the comment section 
so that people can learn from you if you have found this video useful please give it a thumbs up if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe right now it really does help my channel grow and make sure you share this video with anyone that you believe would find it useful thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one